take questions if you want to get your hands raised. Uh, not much really to say outside of they just came in here and kicked our uh, kicked our tail. Uh, outside of the first four minutes, uh, we weren't very good all night uh, for a lot of reasons, and uh, really disappointed, and embarrassed. Once again, if you have a question for Coach Prom, please use the right hand button in the panel. The first question will be from Randy Peterson, the Moines Register. Go ahead, Randy. See, what's this team need to turn around and win a game like you know, like Wednesday? At, at Man, just compete the right way for 40 minutes. Focus, details, pace of play. I mean, the first couple baskets Tech got was all off offensive rebounds, you know, and then transition. Nothing really in half-court execution. Um, you got to make tough plays. Got to be tougher. 40 minutes. You got to compete. Compete the right way. Represent, like I told him, represent your name, represent the university, represent everybody the right way. You know, we've competed better, but the, what we have to understand is we have to compete every second, every minute for all 40 minutes to put ourselves in a position. And we didn't do that at all outside of it for a couple minutes today. Our next question will be from Travis Hines of the Ames Tribune. Go ahead, Travis. Steve, when you say disappointed and embarrassed, I know you're talking about the, the final score, but I imagine it, it goes beyond that. I just what, what is it that makes you feel that way after this game? Um, not, not where we need to be. I mean, you know that. I mean, not where we need to be, what this program expects, you know, what this program deserves. You know, we won multiple championships. And this program expects that. It expects to play in the postseason, expects to, to win big games. I expect things to do things the right way. That's that's what I mean. You know, you gotta have a lot of pride. You gotta, it, it's gotta mean something to you. You know. When Go ahead. I'm sorry, Jay. Those top ten teams, no, sorry. Just, uh, when you guys played those teams close, did it feel like you guys were close to where you needed to be, and this is a step back, or? Yeah, I thought West Virginia, man. I felt really good at West Virginia, man. I thought our pace of play. I mean, really, man, if you really – I mean, we, we, we put ourselves like – there's sometimes you don't deserve to win games or you, you earn you, – you deserve to lose. You know, with that game, we really deserve to win that game. I mean, we competed. We had a couple tough plays down the stretch. Uh, came back. And, and Baylor, you know, same thing here. You know, it's a two-possession game with three minutes to go. Uh, and even Texas, you know, we took a lot of blows. Uh, I, this, this, this one caught me off guard. I didn't see this coming. I'm not saying win or lose because Tech plays so hard and, you know, really well coached and, and they compete the right way and do things the right way. You know, so you can't say win or lose. It's more about did you do it the right way. I, I didn't see this coming, you know, because I thought our focus was, was pretty good the last couple of days, um, you know, for the most part. I thought they understood what we needed to do to – attack and what we need to do defensively. But, I mean, when we gave up just so many easy baskets, you know, I mean, they're not a – they averaged six threes. It really wasn't the three-point line. Now, Edwards was really good from the three-point line, you know, in the first half. But just their pace of play, they ran it down our throats. They kicked us on the glass. Um, that's what I was most shocked. I didn't, I didn't see that coming today. You know what I mean? You don't know you're going to win or lose. I just thought we were really growing. And, but that's what they, we have to understand is, like, you know, just competing to be close, that's, that's not what this thing's about. You know what I mean? Like, you're going to have growth in stages, but um, there's high standards. You know what I mean? I mean, this program's done a lot over the last, you know, in, in recent times, last 10 years. But over time, you know, it's done a ton, you know. And, you know, we've got a lot of people out there doing a lot of really good things that played here. And um, we have to understand that. You know, so playing close is, is, as this team grows was, was good, but that's not good enough. They gotta, we got to understand that, you know. And nothing's going to get easy in this league. You know, this, that's what you sign up for in this league. That's what makes this league so great. You know, you want to play against the best. But today surprised me. I didn't, I didn't see this coming at all. Our next question will be from Mark Freund of WHO TV. Go ahead, Mark. Touched on this, I guess, already, but um, Texas Tech 
hands you the, the worst loss in Hilton last year, this is either number two or three. Is it something about that, that specific program that gives you fits or that has given you fits lately? I mean, they're good, but I mean, we, we've, we've, we've beaten them a fair share. I think if, if I'm not mistaken, we're one of only two teams in the program to win, win at Tech twice in the last five years. So, um, you know, we've had our fair share against them. Now, they've got us last, last year in, in this game today, um, you know, and they, they've beaten us the last couple times, you know, but they've been, they, they're very good, you know. Um, but we've had our fair share of success, you know, against, against them. And so, um, but if you don't do it right against them, they can embarrass you. There's no question about that. In the last two years here, they did. Travis Hines of the Ames Tribune, go ahead. Steve, you talked a lot about the, the historical standard of the program, and obviously Solo has been a part of a lot of good teams here. But beyond that, it gets a little thin. You know, how, is, how is the locker room equipped to, to rebound from this and to get back towards that standard that you were talking about? Well, we just got to take it a day at a time. Um, you know, I talked to them afterwards, not in a scream and yelling, just more just about the expectations and that, you know, you know, the body language and the focus and the attention to detail to where, you know, uh, the locker room is very young. Uh, the locker room hasn't been a part of a ton of success here. Uh, <clears throat> that's the reality, you know what I mean? Um, you know, but that's not, there's no excuses there, you know. You, you, you sign up to get it done. No questions asked. And so, um, you know, we got to continue to, 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 to invest in these guys and continue to help them grow and then just figure out, you know, the best lineups as we go forward, you know, to, you know, to give us our chance. I mean, there's a, you know, I talked to them, there's a lot of teams that have gotten off the tough league starts that were able to rebound, you know. And so we got to figure out a way and we got to do it Monday and Tuesday and then we got to start with Wednesday at K State. Thanks.